feeling cold And I'll be all in when you wanna fold And we're dancing uh, like just leave do as you're told, I would say It's my advice, I've been married you 16 years Do as you're told, keep the peace That would be my advice Sadly You're mourning, I'll mourn For your sadness and pain When you're happy, you'll put A smile on my face I won't be perfect, but I promise I'll try every day for you Well, good afternoon everybody. On behalf of Andrew and Sylvia, we'd like to welcome you to the Riversley Suite for the very special occasion of their marriage. This is a day that Andrew and Sylvia will remember for all of their lives. You are here to share their joy, to wish them well, and make this a happy and memorable day for them both. Now it is traditional to be formally given in marriage on your wedding day, so now I ask who gives Sylvia Married to Andrew. I do. You pass Sylvia's hand across. Thank you. And Andrew, do you accept? I do. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you all let's take your seats. <laughs> Marriage calls for honesty, patience and dedication. It demands courage, the courage to be open, the courage to grow and change. When two people place to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit which is unique to themselves, which binds them to each other closer than any spoken and written word. Andrew and Sylvia stand before us after finding their own happiness, fulfilment and love and now wish to affirm their relationship in your presence. So that is why you are all here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Andrew Michael Waldron and Sylvia Olly. If any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. Is that okay to carry on? Yes. Thank you. Marriage is a desire by two people to share themselves with each other and a willingness to accept each other for who they are. Being married today is a confirmation of the love, respect and friendship that you have for each other. Together you will be stronger to face whatever life holds. Andrew and Sylvia have chosen to include readings in today's ceremony, so can I invite the Edgio first please? First reading. Life can be beautiful. Life can be beautiful shared by two. A world filled with love, ever old, ever new. Life can be beautiful shared with each other. Two happy people who love one another. May the love you pledge together, like the circle of a ring, be a promise of the many joys your married life will bring. The place in which we are now all met has been duly sanctioned according to the law for the celebration of marriages. Before you are joined in matrimony, 
I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that we're about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. I shall now ask each of you in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. So I'm on you first, Andrew. Okay, that's fine. So you can repeat these words after me. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Andrew Michael Waldron. Why I, Andrew Michael Waldron. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Sylvia Buggy. To Sylvia Buggy. Which one would you like? Buggy. Keep it. Buggy. I'll ask Buggy. Is that okay? Yes, yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Sylvia, if you can repeat that. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Sylvia Baggy. Why I, Sylvia Baggy. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Andrew Michael Baldwin. To Andrew Michael Baldwin. Now that being the case, do you, Andrew, take Sylvia to be your lawful wedded wife, to be loving, faithful, and loyal to her for the rest of your life together? I do. And do you, Sylvia, take Andrew to be your lawful wedded husband, to be loving, faithful, and loyal to him for the rest of your life together? Yeah. I do. Speak some as you can carry on with ceremony now. <laughs> <laughs> so now the moment has come for Andrew and Sylvia to contract their marriage before you, their witnesses, family, and friends. So again, if it's comfortable to do so, now she will just stand. <coughs> These vows are a formal and public pledge of their love and a promise of lifelong commitment to each other. So again, Andrew, repeat these words after me. I, Andrew Michael Waldron. I, Andrew Michael Waldron. Take you, Sylvia Baggy. Take you, Sylvia Baggy. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Sylvia Baggy. I, Sylvia Baggy. Take you, Andrew Michael Waldron. Take you, Andrew Michael Waldron. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would take your seats now. Okay. So now I'd like to invite Michael to step forward for our next reading, please. You have a word, sir. I'm making this reading on behalf of uh, Sylvia's mother who's giving her beautiful daughter away today and uh, I've given her a translation of it so hopefully she'll understand what's happening. Marriage joins two people in the circle of its love. Marriage is a commitment to life, the best that two people can find and bring out to each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. It is a physical and an emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener and critic. And there may come times when one partner is heartbroken or ailing and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent or child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly and passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, new ways of expressing a love that is deeper than life. When two people pledge their love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique unto themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise a potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other 
and takes a lifetime to fulfill. Andrew and Sylvia have chosen to exchange rings today. This is the traditional way of sealing the vows they've just made. So I'm going to invite Mark to step forward. Mm -hmm. Sylvia, I give you this ring. Sylvia, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. Of a si as a sign of our marriage. And a symbol of our love. And a symbol of our love. I promise to laugh with you in joy. I promise to laugh with you in joy. To grieve with you in sorrow. To grieve with you in sorrow. To grow with you in love. To grow with you in love. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. And to cherish and respect you always. And to cherish and respect you always. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And now I meet James. Lisa, okay. If you can pass that question to Sylvia, please. And support you. To comfort and support you. And share in the joy. And share in the joy. And happiness of our love. And happiness of our love. Cherish my faithfulness. Cherish my faithfulness. My loyalty and my trust. My loyalty and my trust. They are yours forever. They are yours forever. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle has no beginning and no end. It symbolizes an end in an everlasting love and is now a sign to the world of the promises you've made to each other. Now today is the start of a new chapter in your lives together. We hope the feelings of love you have for each other will deepen and grow ever stronger throughout the years. Now I'd like to invite Adria to come forward for our final meeting. Chapter 1 of 1000 For two people, this dawn brought on a magical day. Now husband and wife, they head on their way. As a boat setting sail, may their journey begin. With calmest of waters, most helpful of wind. And if they should stumble upon turbulent sea, may it pass them unharming, leave them be. For here are two people whom love has well bitten. Here opens their book, which has yet to be written. As the first page unfolds and their life inks 
its path. May it write a true story where forever love lasts. Let their journey be happy till death do they part. Of 1,000 chapters, may this be the start. Marriage is the union of two hearts. It lives on the love you give to each other. Never grows old, but thrives on the joy of each new day. May you always be able to discuss things together, confide in each other, laugh with each other, I'm sure you do, and enjoy life together. Andrew and Sandy. You have both made the declarations prescribed by law, and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, family and friends, who are It now gives me great pleasure to be able to pronounce that you are lawfully married as husband and wife. You may seal your marriage with a kiss. Congratulations. Thank you. That was really great.